There are increased calls on the need for child protection from all forms of abuse, especially the fatherland. In this report, Jacqueline Ogo brings the views of a child rights protector with some warnings for parents and school administrators. We have counseling every day within schools, primary schools, secondary schools, and the kind of things these children are going through is just too much for them to bear. There is no stopping child rights advocates on their struggle for national commitment to child protection from all forms of abuse, top amongst which is sexual violation, now assuming an alarming dimension in the country. Their bright eyes with cute innocent smiles may be welcoming, but they are not meant for exploitation. Child rights advocates say the responsibility of watching over them begins from the home front. Parents, we have lots of work to do. Most parents these days, we run after wealth. We have left our parental values. Advocates say some parents have been found to send their children out at night to make purchases for the home. Some are sent to buy cigarettes, and when they come across smokers high on weed and they get raped, they get blamed for the occurrence and beaten again at home, leading to double trauma. An eight years old girl is being sexually abused. There is no even body shape to entice any man. So do not blame these children that uh, you two shouldn't have gone to his room. You two shouldn't have spoken to him. You two shouldn't have done this. Please do not blame these children. Make them to understand it is not their fault. Schools are advised to watch out for signs of kids who may be suffering from some forms of abuse in silence. The school should be the first to even know of a sign of a child because a child that has been active in school before, all of a sudden the child is calm. Or the child that is usually very bright in school, all of a sudden you see that the child is not doing so well. As an educationist or as an educator, you should try and ask that child what he or she is going through. It is wise to ensure security in places where children gather during lunchtime or after school and church hours because that's where some criminally minded people go to entice them and pick them up for exploitation. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos.